Hi everyone, Oliver here from the James Prender Gas Library with another local history video from our Prender Gas Library. And it's been a little awesome since we've been here. And I want to talk to you about the this painting here that we have of Catherine Kitty Prender Gas. Now, Catherine was the younger sister of James Prendergast, the namesake of our library. And unfortunately, she did not live a very long life. Uh, Catherine died just after her 10th birthday um, in Michigan. Uh, she was a very sickly child growing up, and her and her mother traveled to Lake Superior um, on, a, on a journey of healing. Uh, talking to one of my counterparts in a couple of libraries in Michigan, what they told me was that going back to the times of the First Nations and the indigenous Native Americans, Lake Superior has been known for its healing properties. So most likely they went there to help heal Kitty. Um, unfortunately, at a stop in, in Marquette, Michigan, Kitty contracted dysentery and fortunately died just six days later. So a very young woman whose life was cut tragically short. So unfortunately there isn't a whole lot to talk about with her life. Uh, instead, what I would like to talk about is the, quickly talk about is the gentleman who painted this. Now the gentleman who painted this, his name is, it was, sorry, it was Daniel Huntington. Now Daniel Huntington was a very famous portrait and art portrait artist in the mid to late 1800s. Uh, he was a member of the Hudson River School, uh, which is named after the Hudson River Valley towards New York City. And the members of that school and that movement of art were known for their their paintings of landscapes and scenery and settings of the Hudson River Valley area. Um, later in his life, Mr. Huntington actually became well known for his portraits. Um, he did a lot of religious work, a lot of uh, very important scenes from history, but also many portraits. Uh, in fact, so we have a couple of different paintings in our collection that were painted by him of various members of the Prendergast family. But he also, and I had to write this down, he painted the portraits of Presidents Lincoln, Martin Van Buren and Chester A. Arthur. So a man that painted some of these great figures in American history also painted portraits of the Prendergast family. So to me, that just goes to show how important they were for our local community. And I'd also like to highlight this picture over here to the right of our portrait of Kim. And this is not signed but I believe it was by Mr. Huntington as well, because in my research that I was doing on him, so he painted the portrait of James Prendergast the Younger that we have downstairs in the main part of our library. And I noticed that in the preparation for him painting that, he did numerous drawings of various parts of James's body, including very detailed, uh, pictures of the placement of James's hand. And so when you look at this painting and you look at a couple different things, so first of all, you look at the cape that she has behind her and the cord that ties the cape. It is almost identical to the cape and cord that she has here. Now the knotting does look a little bit more complex in this one but it's nearly identical. So I, my personal belief, I haven't been able to find exact details. I would not be surprised if Mr. Huntington drew this and got approval for how it looked to paint our final portrait of him. One other thing, if we can zoom in here. So I mentioned that Mr. Huntington was part of the Hudson River Valley School. If you look back over here to the, just behind the left of Kitty, look at how detailed the background is and that attention to the scenery. Very fascinating painting. And if you ever have time to come down to the Prendergast Library while we're open, if 
we have the staffing available, ask to come see some of the paintings up in our fireplace room, and we should be able to do that for you. So until next time, have a good day.